final lodgement of nearly all VTE is the lungs, as all veins drain into the inferior and superior vena cava, and the blood then passes through the cardiac chambers into the lung. The general rule with embolism, whether venous or arterial, is that what comes from the right, that is the venous circulation, stays on the right, that is, it ends up in the pulmonary artery. And what comes from the left, meaning the arterial or systemic circulation, stays on the left, meaning it ends up in one of the branches of the systemic arteries. An exception to the rule is a paradoxical embolism when a venous thromboembolus moves into the systemic circulation through a right to left shunt. This though is a rare phenomenon. In paradoxical embolism, the venous embolus enters the right atrium, but instead of moving into the right ventricle and pulmonary artery, is shunted instead into the right atrium or ventricle through a septal defect. The embolus can, can, can then move from the left ventricle through the aorta to systemic arterial branches and cause an infarct, such as a stroke, if it moves up the carotid artery. This will be a rare example of a VTE causing infarction of a systemic organ instead of causing pulmonary embolisms. Paradoxical embolisms are rare but is commonly reported with atrial septal defects when right atrial pressure exceeds left atrial pressure. Rarely, paradoxical embolism may also be associated with ventricular septal defects when it is associated with high pulmonary resistance as in Eisenmenger's complex. Pulmonary arterial venous malformations is another rare condition associated with paradoxical embolism.